Okay, here we go. With the Guild Wars 2. Amazingness. Discussion about the Guardian potential elite specialization coming out in End of Dragons. And we think it's a Guardian. And we think it's offhand sword. And we also got subscription as well. Thank you very much. A resubscription from NG Skogger. We are literally doing this live right now. On Twitch. And this is what we do. We talk about the things as well as doing the things. Playing the games and stuff. Yes, indeed. And we're talking about it with our chat. And we're going to have a look and we're going to talk about it. And then see how it goes. Obviously, we normally do the Light Brings podcast for this kind of thing. But I didn't get to do that and talk about it because it didn't have a show. So I'm going to do it now. Uh, so if you want to talk about it, you know what to do. Pop something in the chat if you're here live. Otherwise, stick it in the comments below on YouTube because I'm doing this live on Twitch at the same time. But basically, there was an image on the Guild Wars 2 website, which is here. And it is a... It was a very contrasted, very darkened out image. When was it? It was on the 4th of August which was the Wednesday. So normally they'd put out, I think they put out sneak peeks in different times. Uh, I'm not sure about Wednesday specifically being a day that they normally do that, but there was not much, there's not much that came out on Tuesday. It was like a, um, it was like more, ba- like more, not balance. It was more um, releasing like the old story and the achievements and stuff. And I think people really expected something because the elite spec beta is coming out on like the 16th, 17th of August. Um, it's coming out soon, sorry and um <laughs> bold hope and basically what is like kind of what I, the reason why i think they posted this was because the people were sad, sad that no news came out i this is why i think and it's you know it might not be the case probably isn't but the image is also it looks like there hasn't been much effort to darken this because I don't, I think there was less detail on the Mesma image as well. And maybe less, less so on maybe the Necro. I'd have to go and have a look. Um, but we're having a discussion. A lot of people were like, ah, oh, it could be Thief. The, the sword sword with the old, with the little emblem they've got on the, on the main website and I might get that up actually and, and just show you so Guild Wars 2 uh, End of Dragons official website I should have just done a thingy me jig for this um oh wow I can't get to it what? really? anyway apparently I can't get to it because my thing's broken I don't know what's going on anyway doesn't matter um where is it? oh there you go buy it let's go buy it instead (laughs) we'll have a look at the icons anyway there's icons there's two little swords like kind of crossing over and you're like oh what could that be that's symbolizing the weapons of one of the elite specializations i'm actually going to pick it up right now somewhere because they had to release they had to reveal the mesmer didn't they i've lost it i don't know where it is there's the images somewhere anyway someone link it in chat i'd appreciate that very much and i'll bring it up um, it's got a little kind of icons. I had the, all of this ready for the podcast last week and I've got nothing ready now. Have I? Typical. Um, <laughs> and anyway, this is the, so this is the image they gave us. They kind of sneaked onto Twitter. They said, looking forward to more Guild Wars 2, End of Dragons, Elite Specializations, question mark. Watch the next episode of Guild Wars, Guild Wars 2 chat, or sorry, Guild chat on August the 13th, which is a Friday actually. But information on the Virtuoso, which is the Mesmer Elite Specialization, um and two more elite specs one of them is the pr- probably the necro one we saw about which is the pistol and then obviously they've got the one that's probably right here it does say in the meantime here's a preview of one of them okay two more elite specs so it's going to be necro and probably this one as we see they are the ones which are coming up in the beta test of course um this image is very interesting for a few reasons and i'll show you another image in a second as you can see here and you might not be able to see this on your actual screen. It does see, you can see like a blue tint around the around the character. Um, making people think that this is not a thief. And in fact, this is a guardian. And the style of armor being more of the heavy kind as well. 
It looks more heavy, right? This looks more heavy, and chat will probably be. Do you think, think it's blue cast? There you go. Um, <laughs> you think it's blue cast? See, that's right. Uh, I don't see this. I don't see this on here. I must be blind. Okay. I'm not seeing it, unfortunately. It's okay. Oh. Yeah, I can't see anything. From ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. I got it. Thank you. Um, Mega Man? No, it's not Mega Man. I don't think so. <laughs> Could be. But also, it looks like heavy armor. And also, there is another image right here as well. I'm going to pull this across. Which is somewhere around here. Or at least I had it. Now it's gone. Someone linked us as well. Let's zoom into this. A little bit clearer. And this is of uh, the Warlord armor set here in the game, which is actually already in game with the PvP um, reward track and the uh, World v. World reward track. Looks very, very similar. In fact, looks identical. And you can actually have the visor up on this. And it might be because this visor might be up, but like perspective and everything else is a bit difficult. In fact, it's just a bit difficult in terms of the angle as well. It's a bit of an odd shot to kind of show because it looks like they're kind of doing this and they're ready to just, you know, kind of slash with maybe both swords in one direction, particularly. Maybe. You never know. I don't know. But like he's doing that very much. So I don't know. It's just a weird angle. It's very odd. Um... And I don't know. So this armor is, is this is interesting. Obviously, this is only this is heavy armor. Like you know, thief can't wear heavy armor. I mean, might have it as like an outfit, maybe on the store or something. But like you know, otherwise, this is what makes people think it's also a guardian. So blue outline, warlord armor kind of fits the style that's on here right now. It probably isn't. The shoulder looks a bit different. It just looks like a similar kind of style, I suppose. Um, but other than that, you know. It, most people are thinking that it's Guardian. And even Guild Wars 2 on the side here, they say, we've been watching your replies to our question with interest, and most of you are guessing it's either Thief or Guardian. We'll tell you for sure on August 13th. In the meantime, here's a poll to fan the flames past... <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to put Guardian as well. 67%, 67.8% say Guardian. 24.9% say thief. They're probably the people that want it to be thief. And then something else is just people ain't got a clue. I don't care. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, otherwise, there's loads of discussion here in the post from loads of, loads of creators as well. There's like Angry Zorik in there. There's Aurora Peachy. There's other people as well. There's Kit the Traveler. Loads of people talking about um, what they think this might be. Oh. Now, this is interesting. Shiro plus Shiro symbol plus symbol plus symbol picture equals thief. This is an interesting one. Double sword right there. Interesting. What's this one here? This is good. Not sure what, what this person's trying to say. And FIFA has initiative and new spec with double sword and initiative. See, I mean, this is this is something that else has been posted. It's showing the diamonds as the initiative and the two swords for, um, you know, which um, obviously in this picture looks like it's going to be Guardian. But does it mean that the Guardian... And obviously the little diamonds as initiative as well is a good point. Does it mean necessarily that this is going to be just Guardian? Or is this going to be Thief as well? It could be Thief. Thief and Guardian can both get swords offhand. And there's no reason why a Thief can't have it and a Guardian can't have it. But then also, like, have a look, a look back over at the website. I just effed up there. Massively. There we go. Lord had it had the bloody website up didn't I now it's gone had to fluff this up in two two sentences 
There we go. Got it now. Just wanted to bring this over. So this right here. I was on the wrong website. I knew it was somewhere. I knew it was somewhere, everyone. So right here, elite specializations. This is the sword, this cross swords right here. And they're showing us all of them. Now, I, I'm not sure what everything else is. I think this is, this is obviously Mesmer. This is probably Engineer, because I think we're thinking Golomancy. Um, and there's some other bits and pieces here as well. I'm not too sure about. But like, you know, that could be Ellie. I mean, if you want to go off the obvious things, that looks a bit like the Revenant symbol. For example but this is the one that most that some people are talking about in terms of the sword sword and now that could potentially be um if you're going off just that picture the guardian and that's maybe theirs but also it could be a thief as well and but then what would be the other one what would be the guardian symbol is the kind of question in my mind um i don't know chat can uh, also you can pipe in on this if you would like to. Absolutely feel free to. I've just been talking as if this is a YouTube video because it kind of is as well. But um, someone's saying Guardian Rifle in the chat. Do you think the thief will be the bomb at the bottom? Interesting, because I didn't even see that as a bomb. I didn't even see this as a bomb. I think that's very interesting. I actually think that's going to be Necro. But yeah, I think you could be right. I think the thief could get kits. It could get kits. As there is a, there is a thing where I'm thinking some other elite specialization is going to get kits. I think so. And if it was going to be a class, it would be thief, I think. They have a smoke tactic, but it doesn't mean they can't use a, a bomb of other kinds or a grenade, in fact. It's probably more of a grenade. I don't know. Or that could be the, the new Necro. Anyway, we're talking about Guardian. You think the thief is the Oni mask? Ooh, could be, could be. Okay, so in all honesty, that's about as far as I am going to kind of go with it. I don't know much about the Guild Wars past and talking about like the history of what that guy what this actually is and looks like in guild wars um and other people in the chat might know and you feel free to obviously link things but all i was going to do was i was going to quickly have a look at the sword that the guardian has already and just speculate a little bit about what the offhand could be uh, and see if i'm going to be right we're going to go and look at some other classes that have an offhand sword and we will see what else there is and we'll kind of mark down you know have they got blocks have they got damage or whatever um, I mean, Leaf, Leaf is saying that initiative wouldn't work great with kits. I mean, how do you know? You, you, <laughs> there's no way to know that. <laughs> I'm not sure how you would know. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure you, there's no way we could know anything would work well with anything. I mean, it might not be an initiative. It could be a different thing. Remember the one of the slogans that Guild Wars 2, what ArenaNet said during their preview, was we are going to break our own rules and do things differently in our way. Which means, whatever you think works right now, it doesn't matter because it be, can be completely different. They're running a Mesmer. The Mesmer Virtuoso is a ranged class with dagger as the main weapon. And it's ranged and it's a dagger. And doesn't have clones. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And isn't clones. Just phantasms of your weapons. So. Tengu. <laughs> you never know. But you also could be right. Maybe it wouldn't work well either. Okay, so let's think about sword right now on Guardian. Guardian's sword has a port, which is on number two. First skill does a lot of damage. It's just a chain. Free chain. Really, really big damage. Cripple and also fire. Uh, sorry, burning, and then zealots defense. So block ranged attacks while casting magical projectiles. Actually, corrupt doesn't do too bad damage. So at the moment, it does. It works on mostly DPS builds in PvP. Um, it is also good for tanks as well for for just getting onto points. You know, um, obviously, sword is a core weapon. So if you think about all the things that Guardian have in terms of utilities, 
um you know all the shouts and consecrations and signets and everything else it's worth thinking about what utilities they may have as well i don't know um but let's go let's see if i can maybe swap onto another class that has offhand sword so what should we go to first i guess we could have a look at revenant first or we could have a look at uh mesmer mesmer let's have a look at mesmer first Da, 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 da. So, characters that have offhand sword. Not many, actually. It's Rev. Revenant and Mesmer, right? Does Warrior have off Sun Sword? I don't play much Warrior, I actually can't remember. I don't think so. Or does it actually? I need to go into the mists actually. You know, I'm gonna be sound like a right player if I don't know that, do I? No. It's not good. Okay, so we're going to go for Sword in the Elf Hand. Be, 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 be. Oh, I need to go buy one. Actually, we can just put it there. There you go. So, Sword Off Hand for Mesmer basically is. Nah, it's not great. It's more defensive. So, Sword in the Elf Hand is to block, uh, block your foe and create an illusion when attacked. So we need to go and test that on actual mob. Um, and the counter blade gives a daze, which is pretty cool. And then we've got Phantasmal Swordsman, which is a uh, performs a sword strike and create an illusion that attacks your foe. If the sword strike hits, you gain might. So you gain might off that. I would say. Actually, not bad, not horrible damage. And then there's the block and the counter with the daze, of course. So like, not awful. But not like, you know, awe inspiring. Doesn't get used much. Not in PvP. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't get used much in PvE either. But that doesn't mean to say that this is anything going to be anything like, um, you know, what the Guardian's going to get. So let's go and have a look at Revenant. Doo -doo. There he is. I think I've even got Sword Sword on him right now. The only Guardian we saw use Sword Sword, we saw Almora Soul Keeper use that during that story mission in Steel and Fire chapter. Aha! Almora? Okay. Ah. Or from the Pact? Is that the Pact? That's it. Now, I would like to go and find some footage of them. If anyone finds footage of them in their, in that fit, in that fight, that would be sick. That would actually be sick. Okay, let's go grab a sort of hand sword for Revenant and show you exactly what that's about as well. That would actually be very cool. Let's grab a sword. This is all live people, so it's going to be, uh, Doing it live. Okay, sword, sword. Revenant's different. This is a bit more damage oriented. Ah, Smudge, you flipping legend. Okay, so Smudge has just linked us some footage. Okay, so sword offhand for Revenant. Uh, shadow step to your phone, deliver a quick attack, then deliver a second devastating blow. It used to be part of a very important. Um, uh, rotation for damage um, on uh, Revenant with Sword anyway. Deliver a second blast, a second devastating blow, and then you've got the slice through the air, and this is obviously, this was a massive part of it as well. So there's actually four stacks of vulnerability. Is that ranged? I can't remember. Yeah, 450 range, so you'd go in with that, and then bang. 
12 stacks 12 stacks of vulnerability remember this but this is not build or anything i'm playing i'm just showing you the abilities <laughs> um but that damage was actually pretty good random interesting build all of a sudden um <laughs> So on Revenant, Sword is actually very offensive. And to be fair, the, the Sword on Mesmer isn't like totally defensive. It's just like it's got a block. And then the Daze comes out and you can get Might off the Might and other stuff as well. And you've got the uh, Phantasm. So Revenant Sword offhand is actually very, very offensive. And yeah, so those are the offhand skills. And I'm just going to check Warrior for a second. Where is my warrior? There he is. Yeah, what War Revenant Sword Sword is good, it's fun. I'm watching reading chat as well at the moment, you can't see that coming up. I actually got rid of the chat. And I'm going to be quiet in between because I'm reading it. <laughs> alright, my warrior doesn't look good, alright? Don't give me don't give me any jip. Um so offhand sword and i completely forgot the warrior had offhand sword as well so interesting again a very very defensive so throw your sword at your foe to impale them rip your sword from your foe for extra damage 10 might as well wow okay really damn that's awesome 10 might <laughs> just for that good lord that's actually ridiculous I mean, that's flipping fantastic. Uh, okay, so let's quickly go and have a look at this damage ability. So again, this is this is actually about might stacking offhand sword, and then I think there's what is it? Repost. So block the next attack, repost and bleed your foe. If you block a melee attack, gain adrenaline. Okay, what is the um? Does the sword actually get stuck in there? Yeah, it does nice that's actually awesome and there's torment on that as well don't forget and then there's the block um and obviously the bleeding and you gain adrenaline if you're not attacked you bleed them if they attack sorry the sword is sword the sword that's actually pretty cool it's actually a combo finisher as well it can be a range thing. You go up to them and you pull it out of them. That, that ability is wicked. Maybe we'll see something like that for Guardian. That would actually be very awesome. That would be very cool. Yeah, sorry about the look on my Guardian. On my Warrior. It doesn't look great. I just stuck the heavy armor on him. All right, so just ignore it. Ignore him. Ignore, ignore my character. He looks awful. Um. So yeah, there's that. That looks... That's actually very cool. And here... Okay, so we... Almora, you said, and whose YouTube is this? This is uh, Quimondo, Qu uh, sorry, Quundo Games on YouTube. Please go follow them. I'd appreciate that because I'm using their look, apparently looking at their stuff. So, sword, sword, that's sword shield. Oh, good lord, really? Are you serious right now? <laughs> Show me a bloody hat. <laughs> good lord. Uh, his hat was nice. You have the beta? Uh, I don't have the better of anything. Not now. Not of the Guild Wars 2, anyway. Not of the uh, Elite Specializations. We're talking about it, my friend. We're talking about it. Okay, so where's the Sword Sword? Apparently this is the character who has Sword Sword. Oh, see, I was talking about this. This is act... This is funny. Um... Yeah, no, I don't have it at, at... We won't have it until the 16th or 17th box. Oh, sorry if I sounded dismissive. I apologize. Um, I actually talked about this being something that could be a new elite specialization. The whole... Those markings on the ground, which is very interesting. What is that, do you think? That's like a... It's like a charge or something or like a... What is that as well? Interesting. Sword, sword, right there. Do you see that? All right, let's take it back a tiny bit. The sword, sword. Sword, shield. She swaps. 
Swap, swap, swap. There. No, that's shield still. It's still shield. My bad. <laughs> shield. Lots of blocking. There's actually like projectiles or something coming out of them. That's very interesting, and it is as it is. Now they're in sword swords. But look at the porting around. Look at the porting around. Very cool. Those kind of port, like not ports, but like kind of what well, I don't know what they are. They're like it's just these movement skills. I don't know. They're moving forward, and there's this like line of warding kind of which looks a little bit like a line of warning from staff, but it's like a the sword, I wonder if he's going to be like a burning line, like the um, elementalist ability, potentially. You never know. That's quite cool. Let's see what else they've got. Look, what's that? <gasps> oh, actually, oh, like, this is kind of like, I guess it would be like Hammer 5 Guardian, I guess. And yes, I will be playing the beta, 100% happy manga. Hello as well. Um... That kind of does look like an interesting ability. Doesn't look like it's... This is a ring, but it's not a ring which keeps you in. But then what are they doing right there? Do you see that combination of like swirling the swords around again? That could be like a swirling axe. You know how Ranger has the axe ability on the fifth skill and it just like kind of does this whirl and it just reflects projectiles. I think it's a reflector or a block. Um, I can't remember. But that could be part of it with the sword, the kind of um, animation they're doing there. But that move specifically, like that one, that could be cool. Because they haven't got really that many travel abilities, to be honest. They've got like a port, a couple of ports, but otherwise Guardian is very slow. And they haven't got much movement speed um, other than like stuff. So actually that could be one thing which would help guardians move a lot quicker that they don't have a lot of movement speed i don't know what chat what you think about that chat i think that's actually pretty cool thank you for linking this video it, this is the exact fight i was thinking about and this makes them that makes them very assassin like as well especially with the swords i'm convinced I'm convinced about this. This poor guy. <laughs> Give me some food. I'm struggling. This was not like the easiest fight in all honesty. He could use his he could use his pet as well and just heal, but I'm not using it. Um But yeah, I mean that's that's very interesting. Obviously the other skills they're using aren't like there's obviously five skills on this sword and they're using a lot more but that is definite or that could be like a utility so they've got the tech for some of the characters and they've used i don't think they've used a lot of tech for characters in the past but that ring is very interesting i feel like that could be a utility i don't know that's interesting though what it could be, I have no clue. But Almora is someone to look at for that. Please go and follow them. I'll put that in the description. Also, I'll link their YouTube channel right now in the chat for everyone to have a look at. Uh, as well. Okay. Everyone that just came into the channel on Twitch as well, I'm doing like a YouTube video thing as well. So just, just FYI. So that's kind of so there's some ideas for what the offhand sword is this again this is just my little speculation a little bit of chat with uh on while we're live on twitch and this is kind of the armor that we saw as well on on that image and um, i was kind of showing you all as well uh which looks it looks cool i mean you know that kind of feels like it's from the region that we're kind of thinking about in terms of camphor as well not specifically this armor it's not going to be it's not definitely this armor but like you know something close to it maybe and it looks very similar uh can i put a smaller version of this picture here i mean i don't even know <laughs> it's not a million miles away that's for sure there's a bit on the back it looks more like the uh female character model 
Um, to be honest. Because they've got the tassels and stuff on the back. But it could be it could be very interesting. Very interesting to see what that's going to be. I still, I think if it's going to be like more assassin-like, I would think that it would, could be something close to that Almora fight that I just showed you on the YouTube channel. Um, sorry, that was on the YouTube. And that was in one of the... Um, somewhere it was from like ice boot saga somewhere i can't remember someone mentioned it in the chat what episode it was um but when i was playing it i remember thinking that could be like a cool elite specialization i think i said that when we were playing it as well on stream so anyway that's gonna be it i'm excited to find out we're gonna find out on the 13th of august more about the elite specializations if it's even gonna be guardian so this is if it is guardian you never know it might not be and this could all be rubbish um but otherwise yeah Enjoy, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm doing an outro on Twitch for a YouTube video, which feels weird. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to buy Guild Wars 2 and the Dragons and support the channel, you can do that in the description below or if you're on Twitch, <laughs> on the panel below. And that's awesome. Nice one. I'm excited. Tell me what you think it is. Tell me what you think it's going to be about. Is it Guardian? Am I just completely wrong? Is everything I said completely wrong? Is it even worth thinking about or looking at the old... The other offhand sword specialized, uh, sorry, offhand sword classes. Is it going to be blocky? Is it going to be more offensive? Is it going to be blocky, more defensive or offensive? What is it going to be? Find out by doing a thing. That'd be epic. Have a look at future videos coming out soon to twitch.tv. No, it's not. It's youtube.com slash unity. I'm going before I fluff it anymore. <laughs> It's a Sunday. See you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you soon.